Hello, guten Tag, and as always, sunny greetings here from Fort Lauderdale. I'm very happy we are here with you today. Happy New Year, and the new year brought us a new Facebook Creator Studio. So I want to go into you today and show you all the goodies Facebook did and is still doing. They are still updating. But if you are not aware of Facebook Creator Studio, you can use for your Facebook and Instagram. So that will be maybe you want to look in here where I give you a walkthrough of our Facebook Creator Studio, how it is set up. I understand maybe not everybody has the same layout than we are having. We are already updated, but Facebook is always rolling out the new update. So no worries, you will get the updated Creator Studio soon and then you can follow along. At the end of the day, the principles are still the same. They moved sh some stuff around. So take a look what is uh, where we are going. Maybe it is in a different place where it is on my page, but probably it will be there. So I am very excited about the Creator Studio because now it is very easy for us to use Facebook and Instagram in one page where we no longer need to jump around and have to go directly to Facebook and have to go directly to Instagram. So Facebook makes it very easy for you and for me so that we can work much, much efficient and put more content out there. That is all what Facebook is looking to and make it easy for us to use both of the platforms. So let me share my screen with you guys so that I can give you the walkthrough of our Creator Studio and you are able to follow me along what we are doing. So let me go in here and here is my Creator Studio. You should see my screen, my Creator Studio right up here. If you don't know how to get to your Creator Studio, you can go directly from your Facebook page to the Creator Studio on your left side. And if you uh, want to go directly without the additional step of your page, you just go to business.facebook.com slash creator studio and it will get you right in there. So here you have an overview of our creator studio, how it looks on our back end. And as you can see, it's a nice platform. You have a home page over here and it gives you everything in one place to overview. I want to start off to your creator studio. Right now, you are seeing this from my Facebook page. So that is the Facebook page. We are right now live streaming here on Annette T blog. And those are all the pages we are owning. So and we are managing. So that is one place where I can go and take a look what goes on with all pages, or I can take a look at all individual pages. When you want to uh, look at your Instagram page, now you easily can switch here on top. You see the little blue Facebook and next to it is your Instagram icon. So just click it. And now we are right here in our Instagram account where I also can take a look what was posted, what worked and what didn't work. So that is an easy switch with Facebook and with Instagram. So where I can go and have both dashboards and can take a look directly into my post. Let me give you a little bit an overview of our homepage. You can go from your homepage and create a new post, create 
testing, you can add to your story. If you don't know, you now even can schedule out stories. So that is very helpful that you have your stories running. You can upload a video. You can have multiple videos you can upload, which I go in a little bit deeper uh, later, where you now have stored everything in one place and don't have to upload it once at the time. So you have access to your Creator Studio library. You can go live from here and you can cross post to different pages. Again, you have the same option over here. You can go live, upload a video, add to your story. So it is easy. You just can post it on here. And now it brings you right into the new post where you now have different options of your post. You have a test. So let's put just test in here. Now you can decide if you want to just have an updated post where you have a colored background. You can add those on here. Gives you all the options now in Creator Studio as well. Or if you want to go for a picture, then you can upload your picture in here. You can add your videos. Again, you can go live right from the page here at your location and also have different options available. If you don't know where to schedule your posting, you just go to the right corner over here, click the little arrow, and now you are able to save your post as a trust uh, as a draft or you schedule your post right in here and facebook gives you a schedule option of by hour of the next day for a week for a month up to three months you have the option to schedule out your posts which are very helpful because usually we are planning out for a month so we are planning our posts all for the months and scheduling them out where needed or where we can do it and then we only go in once a week if something new comes up then we can uh, cross correct and take out the schedule post and then post what is up to the date so you see you i believe it's 72 days so i could schedule until april 9 of or 11 after this i can not schedule anything so i have now a two month option or almost three months where i can schedule the post so i could schedule and i you see it tells you it is too long out here so facebook lets you know i could save it and now i can schedule my post here i can restrict it who sees it and i want to go public public so that is scheduling your post if you don't use scheduling your post i highly recommend it because then you are done for the time and your posts are scheduled consistent that is what pay facebook is looking for so that you now can schedule your post and don't have to worry getting up in the morning oh what do i have to post now you can sit down because with me personally if i am in the flow then i am in the flow then i can schedule everything and write down what i needed to schedule schedule the post create the post and voila you are all done and don't have to worry every morning what i am posting today also it gives you the ability to strategic post so depending what outcome you want and that is something we are going a little bit deeper in our uh, uh, inner circle where we are scheduling posts where we are going into what your posts want you to do so it's depending what outcome you want from your post and there are different options for it now you also have all your notification in one place we are now all your alerts recommendation and your updates are here in one place for your facebook pages as well for all your facebook pages if you choose to select them all you see now i did something i shouldn't do 
and um, that is Facebook Live. So let's go back if I can go back in there or if I have to go, let's see. You see, Facebook sometimes have glitches, so I shouldn't click anything. So let me see if we can go back in here. I was so excited, yes, to show you the new updates and to give you an overview. Here you see how your performance are, if your people reach is good, if your engagement, mine is 85% almost 85% down. I know why and now I can cross correct. Also Facebook now gives you inspiration. Those are videos. So if you want or need to get inspired by something, now here are videos that have a good engagement, which have great views. So maybe that is something you want to look in. And it gives me a good overview about what we are posted if we have engagements and um, what we posted every day here for the past seven days. It gives me the insights as well. So that is a good overview. You also have your insights back in here where now you can go in and take a look at your pages, the audience, the performance, um, uh, the retention. So it gives you a good understanding of your posting so that you now can do more what works and don't do what doesn't work. So you should take a look at your insights to understand what your audience is reacting to, how they engage with you, and how your posts perform in the eye of your audience. Then we can go again. Now I have a good overview of everything. What is pre-published, meaning this is scheduled out for the days to come. And then on Monday, we are sitting down and planning for the next month and scheduling. And I can see everything what is scheduled here and can go in and edit or repost or reschedule it so as I need it to be. Here you have an overview. Now for everything of your pages, you can select one page. Here in our case, we selected one page or of all your pages. Now you can see the performance. You can take a look into how your posts are performing, just switch, switching over a little bit. So then you see the video views, the engagement and everything in here of all your posts that are published on your page. So I would recommend you spend some time in here or you go over on your Facebook business page and go there into insights, which gives you a much, much better understanding, a little bit deeper understanding, but here you have a good overview what is going on. Now, when you want to upload up to 30 graphics or videos, here is your content library. When you have your content library, here you are able to upload up to 30 pieces. It is stored in here and you no longer need to upload it like we did it. We have everything scheduled out on Google Drive. Then we have our picture and video stored on Google Drive and needed to transfer them over to Facebook. Now we can go in directly into our content library and get everything uploaded at one time and use this and scheduling it out for the months we are scheduling. And that's why we are doing monthly scheduling because I can upload up to 30 pieces at one time and then use those pieces for my scheduling, for my monthly scheduling. A great tool as well, Facebook put in 
in inbox where now we have everything in one place where we are having our messenger in here when you are getting messengers for different places now you have everything in here you have your facebook messages instagram messages in here as well whatsapp so we have not connected whatsapp yet but it is a place where you have everything in one place and also when you are working with messenger bots they are funneled over here as well as you can see you can see all the messages even if they are triggered through a messenger bot monetization monetization is when you have a big audience you can apply so that you can monetize for your content you need to fulfill your um the application you need to apply there you need a big audience so that you are able to monetize and you have to apply to facebook and facebook will let you know what they want from you or if they approve you or don't approve you. So that is something if you have a big audience and you write a lot of articles or anything or your videos, now you can monetize, especially your reels, your videos. So that is something if you want to look into it as well. And I'm still in the creator studio, so I don't need to switch around. I have everything in one place over here. So now we also have creative tools where we are able to see our live dashboard in here. So you still can go live from your Facebook business page if you are not using a streaming software like we are, because we are recording this as well. And our streaming software is Zoom, which we connected in here. And now we have everything and uh, going via Zoom live into our Facebook lives. But you also can go live directly from here to the Facebook pages you want to see and you can see your stats in here you see that you are live and you also can schedule your lives so you can schedule your series your posts so there it's a lot what you can do your daily podcast so you can take a look in here what you want to work on it what your goals are you can to schedule and this is where you can use Facebook tools in here. In settings now, you have the availability to give for your pages permission, where you give permission if you want somebody to um, manage your Facebook pages, that where you now can go indirectly and give permission through the Creator Studio for that Facebook page you want to add, uh, give admin or uh, editor, whatever you want. So give them admission over here so that they can have access to your page and post for you whatever you want to do. And your page quality is well here as well. So you just open the pages you want to look into and there you will have all your violations listed if you don't have a violation then uh, everything it's well with you so i hope facebook stays with us yes facebook stays with us there is no restriction there is no violation and then you can go in here and learn a little bit more about it our next thing is our resources so you have resources such as instant articles where you also can monetize and your shop so we don't have a shop set up so uh, but that is something maybe as a business owner you want to look into the coolest what i found is that just came up when you go down to the middle of the little calendar down over here now you see all your posts in one place from the past and what you have scheduled out. So Facebook now gives you a good overview what you did 
in the past, where your posts are, what you scheduled, and also gives you some ideas, some holidays. You see, we have Martin Luther King Day, we have National Popcorn Day, we have National Cheese Day. So that is something maybe if you want to in involved that in your posting. Now you have it right in there for January and you can go in here and create a new post right in here. So when you want to schedule it out, you see now everything in one place, what is scheduled out. You even see here we are live and that will be in here. And that is where you now have a good overview. That is something what Facebook changed so that you are now able to have everything in here. This is from my desktop. So that is the Creator Studio for desktop. But you also can download and have the same features over on your phone. I am an Android user, so I do have the Creator Studio app you can download. So which is, I don't know if you see it over here, that's it's this, oh, the second over here. So here you have the same huge features you are having, you having a good overview, so you probably don't see it too good. But uh, if you download the app Creator Studio, you have the same features. And also when you are posting through your Creator Studio app, now it is much, much easier. You can post at one time within your Creator Studio. When you are using uh, Facebook, you can cross post over to Instagram as well at the same time. You cannot do it on your Facebook desktop. That is a little, at least I didn't figure it out how, but if I go into my Instagram account, now I am on desktop, I can cross post it over to Facebook. That is the only thing if you want to go and cross post both to Facebook and to Instagram, you on your desktop, you have to post on your desktop first on Instagram and then share it with your Facebook. Do we recommend it? No, you should individualize every post. You shouldn't post one post at the same time over at Facebook and at the same time on Instagram. A way around it is wait a few days and you can use the same posting on a different day so that it will show up on Instagram maybe earlier or later, that is up to you. We are not recommending cross posting because people who are on Instagram are usually also on Facebook and when they see twice the same post, there is no, intends to go over and check you out on Facebook if they know you are posting everything at the same time. Different story with stories. I cross post my stories on Facebook and on Instagram at the same time, but I don't cross post my post from Facebook over to Instagram or Instagram over to Facebook. So my pros and cons I love that new Creator Studio. We are using Creator Studio for a long, long time. It makes it much, much easier. It is a free tool. So that is a pro. It is a free tool. A con is you only can use it for Facebook and Instagram. If you want to schedule something out on Twitter or on uh, Pinterest or on different social media platforms, you need a third party scheduling tool for those platforms outside of Facebook and Instagram. That is a tool that you only can use for Facebook and Instagram. It is created by Facebook. It is for Facebook and Instagram. So there is no need, you need a scheduling tool for Facebook or Instagram, that Creator Studio is amazing. It is good enough. And as you know, Facebook don't like third party application you post from because soon as there is a violation, you are getting 
uh, maybe flagged or your account getting uh, flagged. So you want to avoid this. And we always recommend use the tools the platforms are giving you first and then see if that is enough for you to work. For me personally, Facebook, that works enough for me, the Creator Studio, they brought up the option, they still work on the Creator Studio, make it easy to use for us so that we have everything in one place. Now it is easy for you. There is no excuse anymore for you to say, hey, I cannot sketch on my post. I don't know what to post. And that is something else we are going into, but the Creator Studio now we would recommend you are blocking maybe one to two hours a week so you can schedule out your post. And when you get a hold of it, maybe you do it once a month so that your posts are personalized to you, to your page, to your message, and what you want to establish with your page. So I only see one pro because I cannot use that tool outside of Facebook and Instagram, but otherwise I love it. I can schedule everything from here. It works very well uh, for scheduling. I have time slots, I can schedule it. So I have the insights of everything. So there is no excuse for you anymore to not post to Facebook and to work on a schedule so that you know exactly what to post, when to post, who you want to reach and what you want at an outcome. So now again, a quick overview, Creator Studio is updated. Facebook is still updating the Creator Studio. You are able to switch around from the Facebook to Instagram. So you have everything in one place. You can create your posts in here and also schedule your posts right for the next day, for a week out, for a month out, for two months out, almost up to three months, I believe it is 72 days you can schedule it out. So don't don't uh, nail me on those 72, day, 72 days, but at least you can schedule at least two months out and a little bit more so that you have no longer an excuse, excuse what to post and why you don't post on Facebook. You have different options. You can post directly to Facebook and streamline it to different, uh, cross post it to different pages if you want to. You can post on Instagram and share it via Facebook. You also now can upload and schedule your videos in here, right in here. So you don't need to go back into your Facebook business page. You have everything here in one platform. You can schedule it from here. You can post it from here. You can describe it from here. You can see all the insights from here and you can see what is scheduled out. The most what I love is the little calendar over here, which gives me a good overview, what is scheduled out, what I did in the past. So maybe I want to reuse some posts so that I am able to see all the insights in here. I also have uh, many uh, Facebook gives us the opportunity of the content library where I can upload up to 30 pieces at one time. It is stored here in our content library. And when I schedule my post, I no longer need to upload it piece by piece and store it somewhere else. I can do it right in here in our Creator Studio. And that makes it so much easier time friendly and I have no longer any excuse why not use Creator Studio and why not schedule my post and think about and get my post established out there when you want to use Facebook for your business. So I can highly recommend it. We are using it. We are seeing it. So let me see my notes if I covered everything. It looks like we covered everything. So I hope you take a look at your Creator Studio. If you don't know where 
to find it, go to business.facebook.com backslash creator studio, or you can find it right from your Facebook business page and then go into the creator studio, allows you to go in there and take a look. Try a little bit, experiments. You also have the um, uh, availability to to test your post so that is something which is you should do so that you see what works what does doesn't work and you have a good overview right back here from your creator studio if you didn't use it yet i would highly recommend that you do so because it will make your life easier it will make your scheduling easier it will make easier for you to post because now you don't have to worry about through the scheduling future what to post the day or the next day or whatever you do we are recommended you are posting at least once a day different options available to you so you should know your insights what works and what doesn't work for us videos work and status updates works and pictures it goes back and forth right now status updates work for us best video second but Facebook is always changing and we have to adapt. Maybe video is one thing once again, which will work. So you have to watch the insights, what your consumer is reacting to and do what works and what don't work. Recommend highly Facebook Creator Studio. So take a look around. We are using it for our business and would recommend it for your business. If you have any questions, certainly you can ask me anything down below in the comment box. So let me know if you have any question. But until next time, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen. Let me know your experience with Creator Studio, if you found it and how you find your way around. I look forward maybe learning from you as well so that we can learn from each other and support each other. Then I see you next week, same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.